We've talked so much about selectors in this entire CSS series, and that is because they are so fundamental to CSS. So in this video, we're going to talk about some strategies about where you can place your CSS rules, what might be the best approach. Now, for this video, I've created three content areas, three div sections, and each one of them has their own separate CSS code, as you can see, the left, the center, and the right. And that's fine. If you want to do it that way, you can certainly do it that way. You can place all the CSS code individually into each section. You don't have to share any of the code. But you might ask the question, well, take a look at this bottom line of code here. We're using the same exact CSS property and rule for each one of these sections. So does it make sense to keep each one of these lines separately? Or maybe we can make another CSS rule so that we can control it easier. We can control it from one centralized location. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste the new rule set. And there you can see now we've put each one of our ID selectors in here for all these sections. And then let's just take our border property and go ahead and copy and paste it into here. And now we can go ahead and get rid of the border properties that we set in each of these sections now because we have it in this new rule set that we've created. And so now we're controlling this from a centralized location. So let's go ahead and hit save. We'll refresh our page and there's no difference as you can see. Now, what makes this easier is let's say we wanna change this color to green. Now we only have to do it in one place. We don't have to go into each section and update the rule three times over. That's kind of a waste of our time. So it's much easier to manage this from one centralized location. Now you may ask the question, well, when is it appropriate to do this? Because I only have three sections here. And yes, we probably could just keep the border property in each one of these CSS rule sets. But imagine we had 50 sections or 50 HTML elements that we needed to update. Would we really want to have to go into each section and update the same line of code over and over and over again? Doesn't it make sense to do it in one area? So that's really the question you want to ask yourself. But again, it's really preference. Some people find it easier to understand their CSS code if they keep all the code in the same rule set. And so each content area has its own code and nothing is shared. So again, it's how you prefer to do it, but it's very easy to do mass changes if you do it like this. Now, one other thing that I wanna talk about that we haven't talked about in the series is precedence. And that is, let's say I create the same exact rule. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this over again. And let's change this now to orange. And we'll hit save, we'll hit refresh, and there you see all the borders are orange. And what happens here is the last rule in your CSS style sheet takes precedence. So if you have another CSS rule up here that's doing the same exact thing, the last rule will take precedence. That's the way it works. So if we move this green now down here and we get rid of this, we'll save this. And there you can see. The borders now are green because this rule now gets precedence. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. See you guys in the next video.